you want. You. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British sci fi shows. Okay, if you could answer, this is official business. How long? Three million years. Three million years? I've still got that library book. Take it! Take it all, baby! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest science fiction television series from the UK. If there's an out of this world show we left out of this list, be sure to share it in the comments below. Number 10. Misfits Do you want to know what I got done for? Not really. It seems like everyone and everything has been done with superpowers, but some shows still manage to surprise us, and Misfits is one of them. The show follows a group of young delinquents who acquire extraordinary abilities after a strange storm. There's no going back now, man. You're just as screwed as the rest of us. Far from instantly making them into superheroes, their newfound powers only serve to get these troublemakers into even more dangerous and upsetting situations. Dark, dramatic, and often funnier than you might expect, Misfits may be the odd one out among superpowered shows, but that only makes its appeal more distinctive. Ow! Who are you? Number 9. Blake 7. Look, what is this? I've had no treatments, my memory is fine. Now, what is going on? The story of a ragtag space crew was nothing new even back when this show was made. But its execution is what separates Blake's Seven from the rest. While influences from Star Wars and Star Trek are definitely apparent, the show is much more dark than its contemporaries and inspirations usually went. I wish someone was working for me. Till now it doesn't seem real. Depicting the titular Freedom Fighters battle against a totalitarian galactic government, Blake is armed with an advanced ship but a crew full of thieves and villains who'd much rather abandon the cause and each other most of the time. Even if some aspects of the show's production haven't aged well, Blake's Seven is still an absolute classic. You think he was faking it? Everything but the self-pity. That was real enough. You're wrong. Number 8. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Based on the radio series and books of the same name, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a hilariously absurd tale about a hapless, ordinary man, Arthur Dent, who is dragged along on a series of adventures throughout the universe that begin with Earth being destroyed for an expressway, and it only gets odder from there. What the hell's that? Although its effects and production don't quite measure up to the ideas at play, the whip-smart and outlandish writing, as well as the great performances, still do justice to this quintessentially British sci-fi story. Oh well. All gone. Nothing left. What about the book? Maybe the book's got something. Number 7. The Prisoner I suppose you're wondering what you're doing here. It had crossed my mind. <laughs> What's it all about? Combining sci-fi elements with spy and dystopian ones, the Prisoner depicts a former spy, known only as Number Six, who is imprisoned in a mysterious island village where the oppressive and ever-changing leadership seeks to uncover his secrets while he attempts to escape and or reassert his own individuality. The show deftly mixes both the 60s obsession with spies as well as the countercultural movement. While not perfect, what even is that trampoline sport anyway? The Prisoner has had influences on countless other media that you'll be seeing if you know where to look and your first glance should be in its direction. I must recommend the full penalty. Which is? It could be imprisonment, it could be a fine. I'll take the fine. Number 6. Torchwood Okay, if you could answer, this is official business. The spin-off of a certain other sci-fi show yet to come, Torchwood follows an eclectic team who combat unusual and or alien threats, led by the immortal Captain Jack Harkness. And who are you then? Captain Jack Harkness. Containing plenty of the humour and heart that made its parent series a hit, Torchwood also tackles a lot of adult subject matter, 
containing a lot to say about the dark side of humanity and featuring more sexual content than most other sci-fi shows. Full of twists, turns, and featuring a great ensemble, Torchwood can be an acquired taste for some, but it's definitely worth trying. No! Number 5. The Avengers uh, Just hold on for one moment, please, and I'll try and interrupt him for you. The Avengers is primarily a spy series, but the then sci-fi gadgets and a few other elements qualify it for our list. The series follows John Steed and a succession of various female agents, notably Mrs. Peel, as they battle supervillains, spies, and other foes while being incredibly classy about it. Well, stuff's still there. Unopened, so far. The Avengers proved very influential on television as a whole, in part because it was one of the earlier British series imported to America. Its tongue-in-cheek humor, stylish aesthetics, and memorable characters have helped keep it iconic. Even if Marvel's been stealing the show's thunder lately. It's no use. No use. <laughs> Number four, Life on Mars. Why don't you tell me your name? What's your name? When 21st century DCI Sam Tyler is struck by a car, He's shocked when he awakens in 1973. Forced to work with police of the era to make ends meet, Sam must also try to unravel whether he's really travelled back in time or whether he's somehow dreaming his experiences. Do you remember what happened, sir? Sir, can you tell me what happened? As intriguing as the central mystery is, one of the main draws is the fascinating culture clash between Sam's modern sensibilities and police techniques with his new colleague's old-fashioned attitudes, which leads to some great drama and comedy. Reportedly, a new series is in production, so hopefully we'll see more in the future, regardless of when or where the story takes place. I can hear you. I'm in a coma, yeah? Number 3. Black Mirror Put me back in my body! Hmm. Well, that's where real you lives. Sci-fi anthology shows may seem like a throwback to the 60s, but Black Mirror revived a classic format with some modern ideas and turned into a worldwide hit, thanks to a Netflix distribution deal. This is Sarah's current location, which is here, of course. Often dealing with the dangers of technology, or featuring satire of current society or pop culture, Black Mirror lives up to its name by showing us ourselves in a mirror darkly, so to speak. Although the fact that each episode tells a new story can make it feel a bit uneven, the heights Black Mirror reaches more than make up for any cracks in its surface. Anyway, hang on in there, if you must. Number two, Red Dwarf. How long? Three million years. <laughs> Three million years! I've still got that library book. Red Dwarf is a sci-fi sitcom that follows the oddball crew of the ship of the same name. While the Red Dwarf crew run into a lot of typical sci-fi problems like time travel, robots, and other weirdness, they're probably the least qualified people imaginable for dealing with it all. Well, I can't say I'm totally shocked. <laughs> a lot of the humor in the show is derived from their unconventional approach to common futuristic plots, as well as their hilarious interactions with each other. Red Dwarf has remained enduringly popular for decades and is only eclipsed in that regard by our final entry. Alpha Betty Spaghetti! Number one, Doctor Who. Have you ever thought what it's like to be wanderers in the fourth dimension? Have you? To be exiles? You all saw this coming. It may be the obvious pick, but Doctor Who is the greatest British sci-fi show for good reason. Not only has this show's premise about a face-changing alien and their companions traveling through time and space in a police box allowed its unprecedented longevity, but it has also given Doctor Who a chance to reinvent and reinvigorate itself. Take it! Take it all, baby! Have it! You have it all! And with everything that ever happened or ever will as its backdrop, the possibilities are endless. 
With all this in the show's favour, it's no wonder why Doctor Who has become not only the greatest sci-fi programme on British television, but a worldwide phenomenon. I'm the winner. That's who I am. The Time Lord Victorious. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.